Ben Michael, um, just volunteering here. I live on the west side, I live in Ladera currently. I moved here from Kauai, Hawaii. Yeah. How long have you been gardening? I grew up with my grandmother gardening, so like she had a bathtub in the backyard that so has a raised bed, and so I've just kind of been doing it since I was a kid. But um, I worked on a cacao farm and you know a lot of other permaculture situations throughout my time in Hawaii, so I learned a lot in the last probably seven years or so. How did you get involved with the Compton Community Garden? Uh, Johnny. Johnny invited me out to come and, you know, help out. We kind of both nerded over, nerded out over kind of just both being really into gardening and the outdoors. So. What do plants mean to you? Plants are life, um, only second to water, you know, so yeah, it's, it's nourishment, it's what builds everything that we live under, you know, it's, it's life. How did you get into organic gardening? I began working in community gardens when I was 14 years old. Um, I just happened to be driving by one of the community gardens in my hometown and I made my parents immediately drop me off. I just had an inner feeling that that's where I needed to be and I just jumped into my local community garden. The People who are managing it put their arms around me and taught me how to grow food, but they also taught me how to take care of my community, how to feed people, how um, to meditate and feel whole within my community. So that's how I started, and I fell in love with it. And I've done this work in my hometown of Temecula. I've done it in Oakland, um, all across the Bay Area, and now I'm working in Compton and the first place that I came was the Compton Community Garden. Hello ladies, what are your names? Hello, my name is Betty Martin. I'm Marissa. Where did you come from? Uh, from Compton, California. Is that yeah, we're at our home right over there by the, by the airport. How did you find out about the Compton Community Garden? Uh, about five years ago, my son Timothy invested in the garden. He moved. Uh, from from Dr. I forget his name, Dr. Dr. Ross. Dr. Ross, and he came. He started cultivating. He started planting. He wanted to he wanted to reach out to the community of Compton as well, and so he's done a great job here. He's uh, farming, turning the city of Compton around for the good. He uh, he's interested in out, out, agriculture, and uh, so yeah, I'm proud of him. My name is Tamu Asir Martin Bay, and I'm one of the directors of the Compton Community Garden. What does organic gardening mean to you? Organic gardening means getting our birthright back. It means accessing our true wealth. It means empowering our communities. It means stepping into our real power and feeding ourselves and building a foundation for civilization. What do plants mean to you? What do you, want, what do you want people to know about plants? I want people to know that plants are alive and we need to develop a cohesive relationship with them. We, we need to tap in with nature. Plants are the entry point, but ultimately we need to be connected with nature on a physical, spiritual, mental, emotional level, definitely. And plants are, they're here, they share the planet with us and we need to work on that relationship, definitely. Hi, my name is Hakala. Where did you come from? I came from Echo Park. What does gardening mean to you? Um, I think it really builds community and it's a beautiful thing that, you know, I think we should focus on because food is health and, and food is community and it really brings people together. And... What does organic gardening mean to you? It means unity, community, and go, go, go having healthy choices for your family. We actually started our own garden at home, so our children grew tomatoes, they had their own pumpkin, they learned plant husbandry. Learning how to pollinate with paintbrushes and Q-tips, it's just, everything tastes so much richer when you grow it yourself. That's true. <laughs> My name is Jonathan Fajardo. Uh, I uh, lead community and culture here at Compton Community Garden. Why is organic gardening important? Organic gardening, in our opinion, is the only true sustainable future. Um, a future in which healthy food is free um, and 
uh, there's true, there's a space to practice democracy and equality and uh, safe spaces for community um, on every block in South LA, but eventually the world. Uh, and we believe in this social ecology movement and adhere to it here at the Compton Community Garden. Johnny, is Compton truly a food desert? We refer to what is here as a food apartheid, which uh, implies that there's institutional forces working against, uh, actually against, you know, uh, ideas like community gardens and, and free healthy food um, and information on how to, how to access these things. Um, those barriers to entry are very real and very institutional. And so, yeah, there's a food apartheid here in Compton and in much of South LA. But with that being said, uh, there's also a very real um, urgency to combat that. And, and that's evident here at Compton Community Garden and, and, and many of our partner community gardens that we connect with and work with and, and bounce ideas off. So um, there's an unstoppable movement towards an ecological future and, and, and that's definitive. And we're just here to usher that, that new generation of people who understand and, and comply with that. What do you want people to know about the community garden and content? I want people to know that we are open to the public. We have a lot of different workshops, different events, different harvests, volunteer days. We're here to engage with you all and bring you into organic garden and bring you into the agriculture industry all over.